One of the things I love about Swift is how easy it is to package an app. If you're in Playgrounds, all you gotta do is hit install on this Mac, and you don't even need Playgrounds to share it with your friends and anybody you want to do. So today, we're gonna to look at how you can share an app with your friends. So let's get started. First thing you need to do is copy. You can use Command C, or you can edit copy it. Once we're there, I'm gonna pop it into the Downloads folder, but you can put it in, into any folder you like. Uh, again, Command V or Paste, and there we have our app where we would like it. Now, the next thing we need to do is make a shortcut for apps. This is pretty easy. All you've gotta do is use the Make Alias, and by default, it's gonna put it onto most people's desktops. What's nice about uh, Macs is they all use the same directory structure. So this works on any Mac, uh, unless they've really, really played with the structure of the hard drive. Um, and if they can do that, they're not gonna have any problems finding out where to put the application. And once we do that, we have both our applications and our debate starter in a folder. Then we navigate to utilities and we find the disk utility, which looks like this. Uh, you can do a quick search for it, it should pop up, but uh, I want to make sure you know. Now, a word of warning, this particular application is very dangerous and you need to be very careful with what you do from here on in. A full disclaimer, this can cause you quite a lot of difficulties. The image we want to do is just a new image, image from folder. Please do not play with any of the other menu options. As I say, the ability to wipe a hard drive is well documented. So be very careful. Don't go playing around with other parts of this. Once you've done that, you're gonna save it. I'm just gonna pop it back into the downloads folder. And there's my debate starter app. So I'm just gonna save that. It's gonna take Depends on the size of your app. It's not going to take long for this very small app. Uh, once it's finished, you click done and it's made an archive. Yes, you could just use a zip file instead if you don't want to have the shortcuts, but DMG is like the one that everybody's used for a long time. So we go across to a different computer. Um, we're going to get our archive now. So let's have a little look. There's a couple of things to be aware of. Firstly, you've got to check your system preferences. and security and privacy, and just make sure that it is set up to allow you to install from anywhere. So click the image to make changes. You need to be able to do that, otherwise you can only have apps from the App Store. Now, people have to be trusting of the developer for that to happen, so that's important. Once you've done that, you put your DMG file where you'd like. So in this case, it's still in downloads file double click on it and literally you can drag and pop it across to the applications folder. Larger apps will take a bit longer than this but this is only a very small app and so now you can have a look, go look at your applications and you will see the debate starter app is there for you. There you go, all ready, all action. You may have to click open because it's from an untrusted source. That's the only other thing, but have a play. Please, if you enjoyed this, hit the subscribe button. Love to see you next time.